hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i sew plated rose flower very simple to make the back and the front there's the black so if you are interested in knowing how i sew this plated rose flower please keep watching I'm using this black and this green. So I finished plating the, the black that I'm going to show you with the green, the measurements with this green color. I'm going to start to plant on. So I will sew on top. You can hold with pin. I'm going to sew around and continue until I finish everything here. So I'm done. Let me show you. The measurement I use here is not long enough, so I have to join. I have two years and 30 inches. This one is also two years and 30 inches. This black one, I want bigger one, so I'm going to increase the size of this grain. So I will add to the measurement. Let me cut. I have a, this four inches here. Two years and 13 inches that I will add to the length. I will place my material on top like this. Like this and cut here. After cutting, I'm going to join this side. If it's enough, so let me sew the side and measure if it, if the length is enough for what I want. I take the measurement again. This is three years and twenty seven and a half inches, then four inches here. I will fold into two like this. I will sew on the edge very tiny. So I'm going to sew all the way. When I'm done sewing, I will show you how I'm going to start with the plant. I'm done with the sewing of the edge here. So I start tiny from the tip here. Then down this way. To I sew from the point here. Tiny, you can see I didn't start from here. I start from here, coming down this way. So I'm going to iron this extra. Extra from here. And I will clean. The one under, like this one, this this white one, this is the one I'm going to cut. to iron this gum stay on top this interfacing that I call it gum stay double the gum stay that is interfacing just like this then I will trim the extra from here like this I have this one so for the plant I'm going to plant bring this one in like this and start with the plant like this you can see from the back here or from the front tiny about one inch i'm using one inch to plant this one was about two inches i use for this the planting that i'm using one inch for this one inch. i'm going to continue like this to plant all the way so when i'm done with the plant i will show you 
how to sew it here i'm not done with the sewing i still have extra hair i just want to show you the progress the way i plant so you can see the way it goes one inch so you bring this way you sew on top just want to show you again how how it goes like this then you fold like this you sew you fold on top like this and so you continue like this it's just the same way from the starting to the end just like this you continue like this then you will get this result let me go and finish the sewing and i will show you i'm done next thing is to sew place on a machine like this i'm going to start now see the edge like this i'm going to sew round i'm going to sew round like this i'm going to sew you can hold with pin let me hold the pin Hold the pin gently before you start to sew. Like this. Where I started from. When you when I reach here, I would divert. Just continue like that until I finish up everything. So let me go and show and I will show you. I'm almost done. I just want to show you the last part here. You, when you are here, you just continue your sewing like this. Just continue like this. When you get here, you mash it down inside like this. Just mash it down, then everything will cover. Just continue your round sewing, round sewing. You can see the, the thread on the back here. You just continue like that. Just continue with the sewing, with the round, with the way you started sewing it round, sewing it round. Then when you get to the end here, it will sew, then it will cover. You can see this place is covered just continue your round sewing just continue carefully with your machine then when you get to this place like this you open and stitch down with your machine then everything will cover let me go and finish the sewing i'm done i, I finished sewing so you can see everything is covered when you sew just continue round round sew round like this continue with your sewing so this place is five inches i forgot to measure it when i was cutting it so this place is five inches five inches for the floor the one i sew the plate on five inches you make a circle you fold your material into two like this then you fold again into four so you place your tape on the tip you measure two and a half two and a half two and a half so after you open it will give you five inches i'm done with the sewing this is it guys this is the finished look this is how you make your plated rose flower and sew it on your dress you can sew it on a blouse you can even use it to design your skirt just name it so you can see the difference four inches the wideness and the length is three years and 27 and a half inches this one is two years and 30 inches so for the back of this one this one is three and a half inches three and a half inches so depends on the plate you are going to use that is how you cut the 
the back this part here go and do yours is very easy so this is the finished look guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new you are welcome please share this video also to friends to loved ones thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye